Mm. I should take my pants off. emotionally I have the support I need um, I'm ready for this am I nervous yes this has been a long long process I did my research for years searched for the perfect doctor looked up what I would want done what kind of surgery I would want done where I would want them to cut all I mean under the muscle over the muscle just everything I, I, may, I basically had every decision already made before I even had my consultation because of the amount of research that I did. Um, just because I, I have to be prepared, otherwise I won't go through with it. I think I'm overly prepared at this point. I'm super ready. Still nervous because it's a, it's a surgery, so obviously I'm nervous. But So I'm going to, today is Tuesday surgery is Wednesday tomorrow and um, the kids are gonna go with their dad for three days so I will have three days to be able to get it together um, obviously I won't be able to do much in three days but I'll hopefully have a little bit of momentum going you guys I can't even tell you how excited I am um, nervous excited etc so I can't wait so yeah. Okay guys, so Tim and I are basically prepping before my surgery tomorrow. We're prepping the house, we're prepping the kids, we're prepping ourselves, we're prepping everything. Um, so as most people know, you cannot have jewelry on in surgery. What's Let's get to the cutting. And to do. I have to take out my nose ring that I have not taken out in probably like three or four years so he's gonna cut it out because I can't get it out and he's very excited about it it might hurt when you do it because it might pull it it's off. Uh, you did it yeah yeah, it's not like some hardened steel or anything. Got it. Let me see that. I 
feel like you could have could have gotten that out, but I've tried. So how do we take my date out? Oh, okay, I do that too. I guess so. Here, can you turn it to where the the ball is like? Where's the ball? Right there. Yeah, I just need to like struggle my finger. I feel like your fingers are like too big. Okay, so now that my date is out and my nose ring is out, I feel so weird without my piercings. I have to take these out. I can't bring my ring. So I feel naked. But I can't drink or eat anything after midnight. So it's nine o'clock right now. Got plenty of time. But I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm hoping I'll be able to sleep tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know. Hello. Good morning, loves. It's morning of surgery. Oh my gosh. I have literally been waiting for this day dreaming of this day forever for for so long i don't and it's here oh, i'm so nervous so i'm trying to get ready for the day they told me to scrub my body up and down with this stuff so for the last three days i have been scrubbing my body with this stuff it is actually not good i do not like this on my skin my skin does not like it but i think it takes out all the moisture or whatever so they can stick the stickers on your skin and they actually stick instead of having like lotions and stuff on your body and them not stick or whatever i think that's the point of that i'm not sure and to sanitize your skin whatever but my armpits really don't like it and i'm not sure if i can like put deodorant on or not but i'm just gonna put like a tiny bit on because my armpits do not like that stuff <sighs> And I'm pretty sure they won't like my armpits if I don't put deodorant on. They told me to wear, well not to there, but to have like loose clothing for when we leave. So I'm going to bring like sweatpants, my slippers, um, a button up shirt, and just something easy to like slip on. So <clears throat> it is 9.20. So my, I have to be there at 11.30. So I have a couple hours to get ready. Tim just left to take Roman to school and then go get his hair cut and then he will be back. So I have this time to myself to get ready. And I was in the shower, um, I just got out and I'm just like, oh my God, it's really happening. Like, I don't think it's really hit me, but this is like really happening. I had to take all of my piercings out last night you guys saw that. My date is out. Everything is out. I know that there's a lot of moms out there wanting to get this done and they're just curious on the process and things like that. Not just moms, just women. And not a lot of people talk about it, honestly. Just like the do's and don'ts and things like that. So obviously, I have no idea. I haven't done it yet. It's not for another two hours. Ah! But I do want to share my experience so yeah this is my experience I'm gonna get ready for the day I'm pretty sure I can wear makeup I don't see why I wouldn't be able to wear makeup so I'll put a little bit of makeup on do my hair because who wants to come out of surgery looking like a hot mess all I can say is I'm very excited and nervous and yeah so let's get ready Move. I should take my pants off. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. We're about to go into. Sur I'm about to go into surgery. Me too. Just my pants <laughs> on. Hey, guys, I made it out of surgery. I have the hiccups. Worst time to have the hiccups because that hurts. So. As you can see, I got ice all up in my boobies. And I'm Tim went out and got me an extra large sports bra that zips up in the front. And as you can see, it doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm trying to wear an ex an extra large sports bra and I can't zip it. It's just because I'm extremely 
swollen and it'll go down in the next day or two hopefully but I just wanted to let everybody know that I feel really great everything went well um, I came out of anesthesia super quickly um, had no issues and I'm kind of bummed because I wanted like a funny like anesthesia story but I don't have one because it was just like so quick I woke up put my clothes on and left <laughs> oh my god this is ridiculous now I'm home I'm resting I have my pain pills if I need them I feel great I'm very excited excited and pleased um they're huge <laughs> so hopefully they go down because they are really big <laughs> oh my god melody get it together so as you can see this is what they look like right now this is an extra large sports bra <laughs> they are massive i got about i think it was like either 275 <laughs> cc's not very big state me to like a size c right now i feel like i'm a triple d but they'll go down but yep everything is looking great tip. tim had to run to work for a minute so i'm gonna take some pain pills and pain pill and try to take a nap because i really need one oh <sighs> so i'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> hey guys oh i'm gonna try to walk around and stretch my legs a little bit oh my boobs are so tender we're gonna try to look in this mirror real quick let's see what's going on here Woo! look at that cleavage you guys oh my gosh so i kind of wanted to show you guys how cute tim is he before he left got me my drink some crackers my chapstick my pain pills uh the dog beeper in case he was being naughty and uh this um ice chest with drinks boob pads ice all sorts of things before he left for work in case i needed anything he's so cute because he didn't he had to go to work for a couple hours and he didn't want me to ugh, need anything before. So it's definitely hard to like walk around. I kind of wanted to like share with you guys like the experience because this is real y'all. This is real life. Yesterday was a lot easier than today. Yesterday was the actual surgery day. Um, I had it, my surgery was at 11.30. I was home by like 1.30. It was just so quick. Um, and I was so numb that I felt fine. Um, it was this morning when I felt really sore and tender. So this is what they look like right now. Obviously they are very much engorged. <laughs> it feels like if you're a mom and you decide to stop breastfeeding, that's what they feel like right now sore and tender so I ice them constantly that seems to help but you can see like all up in here it's just like rock solid and then I'm really sore like down here but obviously that's because this is where the actual uh, surgery was um, I ended up going over the muscle um, because I'm a very active person and I lift weights a lot I didn't want my boobs to look fake I guess <laughs> I know they are fake obviously we're having this conversation but I didn't want them to like 100% like pop out I wanted to have that natural cute look so that was the goal of um, having it over the muscle and the recovery time I heard for having it over the muscle is so much shorter than having it under the muscle because it's a lot more painful. I'm having a trouble standing like that, so we're gonna move. Ooh, so Tim should be home in about a couple hours. So I'm just gonna sit here and relax, probably take maybe like a quarter of 
a pain pill and try to relax. Yeah, this is, this is exciting, you guys. I'm gonna look like a woman. I do wanna, I did wanna share with you guys this because I was debating, of course, if I wanted to or not. And I think I'm definitely going to because um, I share with you guys everything and this is me, this is what I'm doing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it.